Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, always with you Nishabewi. In this video, we are going to continue on the side effect API in Jetpack Compose. Today, we are going to learn about produce state. Let's get started. So here is the thing. Sometimes we do have problems in getting value from somewhere and then making it as a state or the composable to react on and have recomposition on. So what we can do, we can convert non-composed state into a composed state. That's the practical thing we can do with this producing. So here's how it goes. First, let's pretend I'm going to have a number. And let's say that this number will come from, you can do it with, for example, Rx Java. And let's say that the result of that Rx Java thing, you want it to be observed by the compose runtime. Okay, so how we do it, we create something called produce state. And this produce state, you need to provide the first value, the initial value, let's say if you are Downloading an image, for example, you can use, for example, an empty string or an empty uh, link. For example, here I'm going just to post a number, so I'm going to have a default number of five. And here you need to define the producer, how this producer will give values. The beautiful thing that this is a curating scope. And this curating scope is, of course, linked to the composition, to the current composition. So once this will quit the, the current composition, it will cancel automatically. And here you can do, let's say here you are going to call your view model. For example, you can collect flows here, live data problem, LX Java things. That's the beauty of it. So I can do a delay of two seconds. I'm pretending that I'm downloading something. And then there is this thing, there is the value. Here for this value, you need to set it with something. I'm going just to call random dot next date. And this will produce a number that is changing every two seconds that will be observed and decomposed on. Let's pretend we have this layout and it does have text here. And for this text, you are going to use the number here. The number you can use the value of the number since this will produce you a state. Okay, so you need to get the value or you can use I don't think we can use the by here. So we can use the by directly as it is. Okay, so now if you run the app, you are going to see the following. So here is the app, current number is five, and then it will be changing every two seconds to a random number. Okay, so it changed only once because we didn't do a while, it makes sense. So if I do, for example, while true here, this will keep changing every time until, well, this leave the composition. And as you can see, it is changing every two seconds with a different random int. Well, you won't have this thing in your code. This is just to demonstrate this produce state. So one of the cool things about it, let's say you do have, for example, as I said, like this would be uh, in the QT scope. But let's say you are collecting, for example, an job or something. You can do something like this. Is to wait this pose here in which you can, for example, cancel or dispose some resources you, you have been allocating during this thing. That would work also. Let me just delete that. Another thing you need to know about this thing, if this produces state, produce the same number twice in a row, for example. So it produces five and then five. The second five won't be recomposed on. They call it state conflict. If it is the same, we won't launch a recomposition event. Okay, that's also something to mention. So of course, this is just about it. It's just convert. Like you check the documentation here. In the documentation, they are saying the following. It basically, it uses it to convert a non-composed state into a composed state. For example, bring external subscription, for example, flow, live data, Java. You can just convert those into a state that can be observed. And the interesting thing about it, which is like pretty awesome, is that this produced state is nothing than a remember with a launch effect. That's all it is. So what you are doing, the initial state will be remembered, okay? And we are going to return it, of course. So it makes sense. And for this producer, since you are executing it, well, it uses uh, this thing, which is context receiver. The context receiver is this produce state scope, which will enable us to call the await dispose. So here it will contain the await dispose. So this will provide us with the await dispose. And there is the implementation for this one. So for the result, we are passing the result. So here we can modify it with this producer. Okay, that's all it is. It is a launch effect with a remember block. It is pretty simple implementation, but you can see how combining this two things, which is like the basic component of our effects and also remembering, which is the composed runtime, right, for the state, 
can produce something like that. So you can create functions like that. So here's the example they are using, which is loading in network image, which is pretty good thing to do in a non-composable fashion. So here is the URL, we're passing the URL and the image repository. So this will be a state which results in an image. The initial state would be loading, okay? So that's the good thing. And then we are downloading this. This will be a coutine, so it will be a suspend call here. So we are downloading the image, and then we are setting the value. If the image is not an error, otherwise it's success. And this, like the color of this thing, load a network image, will observe that state, changing from loading to error to success in a composable fashion, okay? That's basically all you need to know about this produce state uh, side effect. It's a good thing in order to convert, like this is the main important thing. It is a good thing to convert non-composed state into a composed state. That's basically all it is. So, okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always. See you in the next video. Salam alaikum.